President Irfan Ali said the People's Progressive Party government intends to keep its campaign promise and will ensure that the closed sugar estates restart operations with the exception of the Wales estate, which he said has been pulled to pieces. He said the government will not be able to reopen the Wales estate because the assets were sold out. Instead, the PPP administration will put in place a development authority to create other opportunities and employment. The Wales estate is no longer there. The factory has already uh, has come in completely dismantled. So the whales, uh, and we said it before the campaign, because remember we raised the issue of the assets being sold out, and uh, a lot of it being sold from a scrap iron. So the, the situation in Wales has changed since then. And we have all, but what we have committed to is a set of investment, an investment regime that will see a development of a Wales Development Authority and a, a different approach in the creation of jobs and ensuring that those people are put back to work and have opportunity there too. The president met with residents across several villages in the East Burbies area and reassured those who rely on the production of sugar for jobs that they will soon find themselves back at work. The president said the government is in talks with management at the other sugar estates to assess the state of assets there and the level of reinvestment to be done. All the estates, the est save and except Wales, where the asset has been completely destroyed and sold out. Um, in relation to the other estates, we have already commenced work, uh, talking to the management, uh, having a thorough understanding of the state of the asset, so we will know what level of investment in relation to the asset is required. But the commitment is that we'll, these estates will be brought back into operation. The APNU AFC government had closed estates at Wales in the East Bank of Demerara, Rosal and Skeldon in Region 6 and Enmore on the East Coast of Demerara. The Minister of Agriculture will be leading this project and already indicated its intention to appoint a new board of directors to oversee the Guyana Sugar Cooperation, Gaisuku. Agriculture Minister Zulfika Mustafa had said too that there will be a reshuffling of the management of the corporation.